I must say, as an author for the EPP, it was a pleasure uh, to work with the other authors on the political groups. We got great co cooperation. As a result, we have good compromises and a very strong resolution, which I hope the Philippine authorities will take note of. Because there has been persistent impunity for human rights violations in the Philippines under President Rodrigo Duarte's administration, since the so-called War on Drugs was launched in 2016, Thousands have been killed, and there has been an unwillingness to investigate. Human rights activists have been branded as terrorists and equated with the armed wing of the Communist Party or red-tagged, many subsequently being killed. Now that the campaigning has kicked off for the president elections in May, fake news has become a particularly prevalent phenomenon in the country. Although the president is banned from seeking re-election, the son of former dictator Ferdinand Marcos is currently leading in the polls, whitewashing the thousands of atrocities of the Marcos regime in the 70s and 80s. Given the scale of these deplorable human rights violations and the failure to bring the perpetrators to justice, efforts must be bolstered to ensure that the upcoming elections are fair and free. Unfortunately, so far the Philippine authorities have not invited the EU to conduct an election observation mission. Election observation missions contribute to the strengthening of democratic institutions, building public confidence in electoral processes, and would help to deter intimidation and indeed violence. The EU should be invited to observe elections to help ensure a high standard. Since the successful application of the Philippines to the GSP Plus in 2014, the Philippines has enjoyed greater market access to the EU, which has led to a significant increase in exports. However, this must be re-evaluated if human rights obligations are not observed. I call on the Commission to temporarily withdraw GSP Plus preferences if there is no substantial improvement and willingness to cooperate on the part of the Philippine authorities. It might be the best weapon to get them to mend their ways. Thank you very much again, and it was a pleasure to work with my fellow authors.